Hello again! Hello again! We Welcome are... back to Super Chef Dan Chronicles, aka, AKA Park Hyatt, Hyatt at, at home. home. I'm your chef, Matt. Matt. This is my Matt. intrepid, industrious, and incredibly adorable sous chef. I'm his sidekick. <laughs> no hitting daddy. Nope. Stop. Okay. Pause. Today we're making another classic French dessert and one that you don't see in restaurant menus all that often, a lemon souffle tart. No. Okay, sh so should we get no, to cooking? No, no, no. Let's, we have a lot to do, so let's get to work. Aprons on? Okay, so for our lemon souffle tarts, we're going to make a crust recipe called Pat Sable. Hey, people, my right. Pat Sable, a little bit different from flaky pie crust. Pat Sable, we use powdered sugar and a higher ratio of butter, which is going to give us a lovely, crumbly pie crust. Because what does Sable mean? Roughly speaking? <laughs> Sand. Okay, so let's get cooking. Okay, you ready? I'm a little shy. What? Since when? Okay, mix together 125 grams all-purpose flour, 45 grams confectioner sugar, or one gram of salt. Whisk it all together and then sift it, which is what I did here. To this, we will add 75 grams Daddy? of very cold butter Daddy, dice. And what we're looking for is a sort of sandy, crumbly texture with pieces about the size of like a, a lentil. No, put it down, put it down, I I there's no whistling into the pie crust. To this, we'll add one egg yolk, and about a tablespoon of ice cold water. Again, we want to keep our ingredients very cold. Very important to work quickly, and we don't want to overwork the dough. Daddy, I made a leaf cake. The dough's not holding together. Add just a, a half teaspoon at a time. Mm. In any type of pie crust, this is your part. This is where your, your time to shine. This is called frisage. We take off a walnut-sized piece, and we just mash it on the table. See, we use the heel of our hand. Okay, you only want to do that one time. There's like hair everywhere. Are you shedding? That's not my hair. This is, your, your hair is, is the long hair. Wrap it in plastic. Set your dough aside in the fridge to rest for 15, 20 minutes. Are you okay? My, my hair is in my face. Let's go wash our hands. So our, our pie crust has been resting in the fridge for a half hour now. The longer you Are leave it to- Are we gonna smush it under this? Yeah, the longer you leave it to rest, the better. But, you know, this is my one day off, so we're gonna Every keep it moving. Wednesday. First thing this that we need to do, day. butter and sugar no. are rings, um, so that it doesn't Daddy, stick. Daddy, Yep, just a little bit on the inside. No, no, don't lick the butter! Don't lick the Excuse butter! Shoot. Okay, we, we might have enough butter, so we're, we're gonna use our finger, just to, to take off the excess. Okay, so now, <laughs> little sugar. On the inside, tap off the excess. Sable is a very delicate dough. If it seems like it's getting too hard to work with, put it back in the fridge. Okay. Roll it onto your pin. Okay, you see? All right, and now transfer it onto your tart. Take a glass. Can you literally cook this, Daddy? I could literally cook it. All right, and this will help. This will help. Push the, this will help push it into the corner of your tart shell. We want the base to be a little bit thicker than the edges, okay? What we need to do is blind bake our tart shells. We do this for any pie or tart recipe where the crust needs more time to bake than the filling itself. All right, bake these about 10 minutes until you set the shape, then remove the weights and bake until lightly brown, 20 to 30 minutes total. We're looking for this color. This light brown color. This is a little too dark, if you can see, but that's okay. Medium, big, medium, small, and now heavy, medium, light. Okay, time to make the delicious filling for our lemon souffle tarts. Three egg yolks. One, two, three. And half, One, two, three. And half an egg white. Have three. A One moment. Three, just there. Three egg whites whipped to stiff peaks. And we have our oven set to 400 degrees. Okay, Look at the, I bet all this practice with a whisk will be much better when you're holding a scalpel as a brain surgeon, right? 75 grams of sugar. We will add one third. This, why do you need to taste the sugar every time? Why do you need, what it, does it taste different than the last time? It tastes like strawberries. The other time it tasted like banana. We're gonna whisk it until it is a pale yellow. We are each gonna use sugar? Like 
It tastes like blueberry. One and a half tablespoons of lemon zest and 90 grams of lemon juice. It's about two and a half Wait, big juicy it? lemons. Yolks. And then we will put it. this. And then we will no. put this in a pot over very low heat, stirring constantly until it thickens. Or if you don't feel good about that, you could definitely do this in a bain marie. Do we see it's starting to thicken up? You see it, it holds a trail in the pan. All right, I think we're good here. It's thickened up. Does everybody remember how we fold an egg white? Yes. Three parts. First part, one third, just to lighten it up. Part two, now this is when we fold. Last part, scrape the bowl. Nothing goes to waste. Okay. 400 degree oven until they're, they'll sort of puff up a little bit, maybe get a little bit brown on the top, and that's it. And as soon as they puff up, they're done. You can find this recipe. Is it too hot? Wait. And we're gonna go back on hiatus. No! You can find all. <laughs> You can find this recipe plus all of our other great recipes on superchefdad.com. On YouTube, kit. Super Chef. on normal YouTube. Yes. Superchefdad.com. Um, also superchefdad on superchefdad.com. From all of us here at Park High and at Home. Yum. From Chef Zoe, I'm Look Chef. Big Stop touching it. <laughs> I'm Chef Matt. <laughs> Happy cooking. Ah, uh, voila. Wow. What do you think? Yeah. Cheers.